Okay, so this is a review of the Miele Jubilee SC G4000 built-in dishwasher. It's a medium-sized model which has room for about 14 place settings. Uh, it was really easy to fit, took about an hour all in. Um, the legs are pretty good actually. I'm normally used to having to mess around for ages and ages with the uh, the adjustable feet on the appliances, but uh, with this particular model you just basically fit it into the uh, into the opening and then once it's in place you use the uh, screws underneath here and you can basically wind these down and it jacks the feet at the, at the bottom down uh, which is really useful it means you can get it fitted nice and tight and you don't have to keep taking it in and out to uh, to level it so really pleased about that that's a really good feature and uh, once it's in place then you just uh, screw it in at the side uh, and at the top as well that makes it nice and sturdy then so it doesn't vibrate and move around uh, next thing you need to do to fit it is uh, is put the actual door front on then, the, the unit. Uh, that's quite easy to do. You get a template with the instruction manual, uh, which you just fit to the, the back of the door. Uh, that tells you where you need to mark it and, uh, and put the uh, the frame on uh, to attach the door to. Uh, once you've done that, it just uh, slots onto the actual um, dishwasher door uh, and then it just attaches in and locks in place with these, uh, these screws here. It means it won't come off. Uh, so I was quite pleased actually how long it took to fit it, like I said it wasn't a, a, a big job, I thought it would be a bit more involved than just fitting a standalone appliance, but it wasn't that bad to be honest. Uh, inside the dishwasher itself, uh, there's plenty of room for all your cutlery, uh, the bottom uh, rack is used for all your, your pans and your larger pots and what have you, uh, there's various bits and pieces where you can put obviously your plates in and trays and chopping boards. Uh, you've got a little section here where when you flick these little yellow clips it allows these um, bars to go down so again if you've got any bigger items they'll uh, they can go in this place here which is a uh, quite useful if you're running out of room in the in the upper tiers uh, so that's the uh, the bottom drawer uh, middle one again tends to be used for actually cups glasses uh, bowls uh, you've got these little little racks here which which move up and down for balancing wine glasses on and we we'll have any champagne flutes and wine glasses and uh, taller things like that. Um, the actual top basket is adjustable with the, the yellow levers on the side. This is in its top setting at the moment which gives you uh, the maximum amount of room underneath. Uh, you can drop them both down, both sides, or, or with this particular model you could just drop one side or the other which um, allegedly that's to allow uh, pots to, awkward pots, that shaped pots to drain a bit better. Uh, apparently that's what Mila say anyway but uh, it's something that you can uh, you can do if needed anyway. Uh, even when it's fully adjusted like that on one side, it'll still go in and not not catch anything else. So maybe quite a useful feature. Top drawer. Uh, this model is for your for your cutlery, so spoons, knives, forks. Um, so the the bigger stuff can go in this little uh, recess part here. Or if you've got a particular big uh, cutlery, you can. Uh, slide these down makes it a little bit deeper so that'd be good for barbecue utensils um, you can also slide these across either way so again if you've got any uh, larger items in the, in the tray underneath uh, they'll be able to pop through the top and still allow you to, to put cutlery in as well so that's really useful and uh, with regard to the programs um, it's quite a simple user interface on the door itself uh, just power on button there and I said these are your programs here. So you've got five programs. You've got Eco, Sensor Wash, Normal, Intensive and Sensor Gentle Wash. Uh, they all have various durations which are displayed on the screen here. Uh, the Eco one senses how dirty your food is and then adjusts the, uh, the water and the, the energy consumption based on how long it takes. So that's uh, allegedly the one that you're supposed to use more often than not. Uh, each of the programs also has a shorter version when you press this button. And um, that will reduce them down. Actually, you can, you can go through all the various different programs. Uh, actually, that will either have a shorter duration or, or the normal one, depending on uh, so whether you want to be in the house or not at the time. Um, the next feature is the uh, have the timer here. Again, you can delay it. Uh, that's particularly useful if you have an economy seven meter. Uh, you can delay it so you could have the, the dishwasher operating at night when the electricity is cheaper. So it's not something that we'd probably use, but it's uh, maybe useful for people who run that particular type of meter. Uh, but we've used it a few times now, it's, it's a fantastic dishwasher, it's really quiet. Uh, simple feature about it is the door, the door doesn't just drop to the floor, it's got actually quite a weighty spring in it so it will basically stay open 
uh, wherever you leave it. So again, if you've got like little kiddies running around, it's not going to bang them on the head if they drop it. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. But all in all, fantastic dishwasher. We're really pleased with it. Uh, totally recommend it to anyone. Thanks a lot. Bye.